Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to brand video on the channel. In today's video, first of all, I hope you guys can tell this man a new camera as well as a new microphone. I hope the sound is crispy and clean. Of course, I do have a little bit of an echo here uh, in this in this room. But I literally tried recording this video uh, five minutes ago and I watched it back and I was like, man, I hear so much unusual sound on the background. I watched a ton of YouTube videos, was able to actually turn on everything that I have to turn on and right now it should be working. Okay, so welcome back to brand new video. Hope the audio is clear, hope the camera is clear as well and I hope you guys can tell the difference. Actually a new investment of around $2,000 into the channel as well as I bought myself a new MacBook but more about that later on in this video, okay? A very important subject of this video, the one thing successful skinny guys do each and every day, okay? In this video, I'm gonna be revealing the number one habits each and every skinny guy should have in his life and how skinny guys can actually succeed when it comes down to gaining weight and building muscle. So if you're a skinny guy or somebody who's looking to gain some more weight but more importantly build some more muscle, this is the channel as well as the video for you. Let's jump right into it. First of all guys, like, come on man. Can we just appreciate this zoom a little bit? I think my eye still is in focus, man. I'm so in love with the camera. You know, I can literally point on my own head and I can like zoom in. Hey guys, <laughs> you guys can definitely see my acne a little bit better now, which is a little bit of a downside of this camera, but hey, it is what it is. All right guys, from what I can see, the, the image is looking crispy, man, and I'm very excited to deliver some more high quality content on the channel. I got this like weird gorilla tripod, so <laughs> this stuff is literally all over the place to keep the camera standing, and I might buy a little bit more, like a little bit more stable, since I am usually shooting uh, inside simply and I want to get a straight, uh, straight feedback, but besides that, man, very happy with this investment. Now, talking more about topic, or the topic of simply the, the habit, you know, 1% of skinny guys do or the successful skinny guys do each and every day, okay? And now as much as I want to build up some like crazy suspense in this video, I want to dive straight into this and tell you guys how this goes. Now first of all, if you guys can't pay attention for more than two minutes, then literally get off of my channel, okay? This is not like kindergarten where each and every like two, three seconds you need to see like a jump cut or some crazy flame effects to stay entertained. If you guys are here for the real value and you actually want to change, then this is the video for you. So the first habit, okay, and also like the biggest thing skinny guys who are successful do each and every day is going to be looking at their life as a video game. Let me just quickly ask you this question, okay? When you turn on a new video game, like a, like a walkthrough game, where you simply are a character in the beginning, how does that character look like? You know, a lot of the times it's like a slave, it's like, you know, like this dude in only his upper body, like this little towel in front of his genital area because he doesn't have too much. He's literally at level zero and at the end of the game you want to make him this huge warrior to save the world, level up and make more money and turn him into this crazy character, the crazy hero that he is, okay? Now, I want to ask you guys a question. In the video game, people usually start at zero. In a video game called FIFA, you guys have to build up your own team. I used to play the game tons back in the day. And you start with bronze players. Then you can level up to silver players, to gold players, to gold rare players, and even to special cards, okay? You always start at level zero. But now a quick question for you, and please answer this in your head. Are you playing the game even if you start at level zero? Of course. That's what the whole thing is about. It's all about starting from zero, getting towards challenges, getting through challenges and eventually leveling up. So what happened in your life where all of a sudden you were at level zero with some more skinny genetics, you weren't really the best when it comes down to building muscle and gaining weight. You might not have been blessed in the best position in the world where you're living or whatever. So what happened to you? What happened to that game mentality of leveling up and trying to change that next physique, that best physique? What happened to that? What happened to the person who was going to grind each and every day to get better? Who was going to complete the challenges, level up to those gold players and eventually those special cards? What happened to it? Okay? It's not because it's all of a sudden your life that these things change. You guys should still apply it that way. Okay? I hope I'm getting my point across here. Look at your life as a video game. Look at the skinny genetics and, and your lifestyle and the challenges you might have ahead and the reasons why you feel like you're not gaining weight and building muscle. Look at those as obstacles. And when you complete them, you get a certain amount of XP. And just a quick reminder, you get the most amount of XP, the most amount of points towards leveling up when you complete the tough challenges. And I've been in a position myself, you know, being a very skinny guy. I remember me literally uh, buying protein bars with my mate after going to the gym, thinking that that protein bar was all of a sudden gonna make me big. 
I had to learn things the hard way. I had to learn that you had to eat in a calorie surplus, X, Y, Z. I speak from my experience, from my own transformation when I talk about gaining weight, okay? And the biggest things to overcome were definitely the challenges I was facing as a skinny guy, the challenges you are facing right now. But as already mentioned, you get the most amount of XP points from those challenges. So try to look at your life with that mindset. Try to look at the tough challenges as things who simply get you more points, more XP points. It's a point game at the end of the day. And try to literally, you know, get some points onto like certain tasks you have to do each and every day. Hitting breakfast instead of skipping it as a skinny guy. Eating every two to three hours, having a good routine set up for skinny guys. All those kind of tips I've already shared on the channel. Be sure to implement those and each and every time you check one off, you get more points and you get closer towards your goals. Nobody's born rich, nobody's born with a six pack and it's not because we have some more skinny genetics that this should hold us back from gaining weight. The only thing stepping, like literally standing between you and achieving your dream physique is going to be a step-by-step -step plan you need in your situation to actually gain weight and build muscle, okay? I've been helping tons of skinny guys and I literally want to throw a quick clip on the screen from one of my clients. Because like you mentioned it yourself, you're a pretty busy guy. You have some side hustles going on. We talked about those as well, like the yeah. trading and stuff. Of course, the nine to five job. Did you feel like it was kind of like holding you back maybe because you were working so much, you thought you might not have that time to actually work out and learn how to gain weight? Like, was it like a concern? Yeah, um, so as you say, I have a work, like normal work and I trade and do something aside of that. So I think that you just um, learn, you just, uh, learn uh, how to take the time to mm -hmm. do things and to do it right. So I know that before I was like, okay, I will not have the time to do this, to this, but you just told me how to do it. So now, even if I'm busy, I have the time to do all my work, everything I want and my workout and even prepare meals and everything. So yeah, I, have, I can schedule everything I want and easily than before. Perfect. Now coming down to the juicy stuff, coming down to the real stuff. What was your beginning weight? How long were you in the program and what's your weight right now? Okay, so we start together um, So the beginning of January. I was um, weighing 67.8 kg and now it's less than 3 months, 3 months and I am currently at 73.7 kg, so 5.9 kg. really happy never eat a weight like this so yeah and keep keep gaining so as you guys can see, you know, a little bit of subtitle action going on as well. Alexandre, one of my clients from France, that's why his English is actually, is actually English is actually very good for somebody from French. Uh, France, no hate, of course, to the country. Um, he was able to make a change. He had a busy lifestyle, he even improved, okay? There's this quote in my class that says, Why your outstelled fault soir, why your impact fault me. Simply meaning, if you literally put something off for a while, it will get tougher and tougher and tougher. If you attack the monster when it's small, it's something you know you can literally beat. It's something I've, teach my cl uh, I've taught my clients already in the program. Kill the monster when it's small. Simply meaning, skinny guys you know, who su are successful, they kill the monster when it's small. They start eating right when they wake up. They start eating their calories right when they wake up instead of waiting until 12 a.m. when they don't have the appetite. Uh, when, when they finally get the appetite. And by the way, if you don't have the appetite, be sure to check out some more videos about appetite um, and apply what happens, like what works in your situation. I have tons of videos on that on this channel. But you have to kill the monster when it's small. You have to look at your life as a video game. Each and every step is a step closer to your goal. And although your goal seems like the Mount Everest, if you've been traveling for like two, three kilometers straight, once you look back, you'll realize you've come a long way, okay? My transformation myself took me three years. I'm always convinced that my clients know this, that I can make your transformation happen in 1.5 years if you want to achieve my transformation. Since I've made so many mistakes, but it's also why I'm such a good teacher nowadays when it comes down to this topic, okay? Main takeaways from this video, look at your life as a video game and kill the monster when it's small, okay? Adapt to those tasks and kill those tasks when it's small. It can be when it comes down to gaining weight, it can also come down to your personal life, okay? Do that, open those emails and reply to those emails and do those tasks, you know, when they're still small. 
you know, when it's not 8 p.m. at night, when you still have to do all your stuff, do it at 9 a.m. in the morning, okay? I hope this makes sense. If you're a skinny guy who's serious about gaining weight and building muscle, you wanna apply this mindset, but not only apply this mindset, you wanna make an actual transformation, be sure to shoot me a quick DM over on my Instagram, DMing me the word weight, and I'll definitely help you out because I personally reply to every single DM I get over my Instagram. You can tell me more about your situation and I'll see if slash how I can help you. I hope you guys appreciate the new quality. New epic things are coming soon. Um, and I have so many ex uh, exciting things planned. I just bought a MacBook, so I'm gonna take my coaching to the next level with this new camera. The YouTube stuff should be even better. I have some crazy and actually exciting things financially planned in a couple of days from now as well. And apart from that, I hope COVID becomes better and better in my country called Belgium, and we can hopefully go to the gym ASAP. Very excited for the future. I see you all in the next one, so be sure to subscribe to the channel, DM me on my Instagram, and as always, let's make this guys.